If you have a beetle bit system and you're looking to cut perfect honeycombs, here's how to do it. First, you need to set up your Morton system so you have stops that are whatever size you want the honeycombs to be. I'm doing an inch and a half so I can slide my glass in, run down here, and then cut each piece multiple times into one and a half inch strips. The next step is to set this to a 60 degree angle. You're going to take one of your strips, slide it in from the right side until you just have a little flat part here. It doesn't really matter how big it is. Now, I already made my cut so you can see I'm going to pull this piece away and this is the piece I'm going to need for sizing moving forwards. The next step is to take the cutting guide and bring it down as far as possible. Now, here's this piece that I just cut. I'm going to flip it so this end that I just cut sits right against the cutting guide. And then I'm going to use one of my stoppers to get this locked in place. The next step is to get the guide out of the way, slide this guy out of the way, and then this piece that we just cut, we're gonna bring back in all the way up to here, and I'm gonna make a cut right there, creating a diamond. Here's my diamond. I'm gonna do this several more times until my strip is exhausted. The next step is to leave this set where it is. Don't untighten the screw, but just move it up a little bit. So you can now take your diamond, slide the tip until it's against your stopper, and the bottom is flat against the ruler. And then you're gonna make a cut here. Don't break off that end, turn it around. Do the same thing, flat against the stopper, cut, and then you'll be able to break it off and have a perfect honeycomb. So cut here, here, right? I cut this one and then I had turned it and cut it right there. And now I'm gonna break off the ends. And there you go, honeycomb.